do 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 reg tech lifestyle set it and come get it when the sun starts going down live your life the way you like it's the reg tech lifestyle do 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 better learn their own do 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 better learn their own do 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 uh, reg tech lifestyle what's up america you know what time it is it is 12 o'clock it is time for the most electrifying exhilarating entertaining daytime cooking show out there right now that's right you're here for lunch break i'm your host chef john and welcome to the worldwide headquarters of rec tech grills we're so happy that you guys are here today Woo! we got a lot of stuff going on it is barbecue month you guys barbecue month so we're getting back to the basics we are, we've got a lot of new people who have started purchasing grills. Um, so we want to go back and show everybody how to do the basics. Starting with barbecue month really kicks it off. So we're just going through. We did uh, barbecue chicken yesterday. Uh, and I've got a special show. We're going to do barbecued pork chops today. Mmm, yeah. And what goes better with pork chops? A little pasta salad. So I'm going to do some pasta salad for you. But this is a really 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 simple dish to do i need you guys though to smash that share button right now because you know somebody who loves pork chops everybody knows somebody who loves pork chops so help me help them smash that share button show the love and let's get started i have the rt590 set at 400 degrees i went ahead and let that thing come up to temperature also guys if you have any comments concerns or questions put them in the comment section below I have JJ Jordan Johnson. What did he uh, do? He is going to be reading out all those questions for you guys. So please, yeah, make sure you put them in there. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jordan, for taking time out of your busy day to help me out with lunch e break today. I really appreciate Anything it. Anything for you. That's Dynamic right. duo, brothers for life. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So like I said, I have the RT 590 set at 400 degrees. I let that come up to temperature. Uh, so I went to the grocery store and I really wanted to get some really nice thick pork chops. Show y'all how to do these things really well. But they didn't have any thick pork chops. All they had were really thin pork chops. So I'm going to show y'all how to do those. So we have a pack of four. I'm going to go ahead and get an aluminum pan and put on my handy dandy nitrile gloves, which you can go to rectechgrills.com. If you cannot find gloves out there, rubber gloves, Nitrile gloves, uh, you can go to rectechgrills.com and you can order them straight from the website. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the chops down. Right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit them with a little bit of Ben's heifer dust. Right over the top. Guys, let me know what you guys are eating today for lunch. I would love to know. I love hearing from you guys. Always learn a little something. And who knows, maybe you'll like spark something, some interest for me, and something I haven't had in a while. We'll be cooking it later on the show. All right, so we're gonna dust those really lightly with heifer dust, and then I'm gonna come behind it with a little bit of that screaming pig. making sure that we season both sides. John, while you season those chops up, the people want to know. Yes. How was your birthday yesterday? Buddy? I had a great birthday. Thank everybody for showing me all the love on my Instagram, on my Facebook. It was great, great, great. Uh, they made me a cake. It was so much fun. We had a great time on After Hours uh, with Greg and Jody. So yeah, it was a great birthday. 43 never looked so good, guys. Yeah. All right, so I used about, it's probably about a half a tablespoon of the Screaming Pig and then probably about two or three tablespoons of the Heifer Dust. So now I've got the gourmet barbecue sauce and we're just going to go ahead and pour this barbecue sauce right over the top. Right, we got a little bit more. Pour right over the top. And then we're just going to kind of like just baste these around in here, making sure that the barbecue sauce covers both sides really well. Hey, John, DJ Bullerman says you don't look too bad for the day after your birthday. Oh, yeah. You know, 
I am a little older and wiser now, so, and, you know, everything's still kind of closed down here in Augusta, so I couldn't really rage it out last night. It was a great night. Went home, made a fire, cooked a little bit of food, and I was in bed before like 11 o'clock. Great birthday. Great birthday. Okay, so now that you have uh, the pork chops, they're sitting in the barbecue sauce, they've been seasoned up, you want to let them sit in this mixture for about 15 minutes just really so that barbecue sauce can start to penetrate inside the meat so all the seasons can start to penetrate inside the meat i have a couple that i've already done ahead of time right so these have been i did these probably about 20 minutes ago you can see how that seasoning is perfectly on there that vinegar based barbecue sauce started to penetrate it we're going to go ahead and throw these on the grill What, uh, what temp are we cooking at, John? 400 degrees. Now, is there any benefit of uh, basting those chops in that pan versus just kind of pouring some on? Or? Definitely. You want that vinegar uh, barbecue sauce really to help kind of penetrate the pork chop. If you just pour it on, it's not, and just throw the chop straight on, it's really just the barbecue sauce is going to slide right off. You really want it to kind of adhere to the protein. All right, I'm gonna throw these last ones on right here. Now you wanna also make sure, cause these chops are so thin, we're gonna go really high and fast. That's why I have the grill set at 400 degrees. These things will not take long to cook. I wish you guys had smell o vision out there. Smelling great, John. Uh, thank you so much, Jordan. I appreciate it. Okay, now one of my favorite things to go with pork chops is pasta salad. Uh, I love pasta salad. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan. So the, some of these ingredients from a pasta salad, they could be exchanged for whatever ingredients that you like, whatever the kind of stuff that you like to eat. This is a super, super easy dish. So you could use whatever pasta noodles you want. Uh, I'm using corkscrew noodles. Uh, and they call them corkscrew noodles because it looks like a corkscrew, like you screw it to the top of a bottle of wine, and pop that thing out. I went ahead and blanched these off already. Just cooked them to al dente with uh, a little bit of salt in the water, a little bit of olive oil. Perfect, let them cool down the refrigerator. All right, so to that, I'm going to add a cucumber, And you could add whatever you'd like, whatever vegetables you'd like. If you don't like vegetables, you could just add cheese and meat to this. It'd be perfectly acceptable. But I'm a fan of the veggies. John, just to let you know, you have got a big audience from all around the United States today checking in from every state in the union. Guys, I appreciate all of y'all watching. It means the world to me. If y'all could do me a favor though right now, stop what you're doing and smash that share button. So everybody that you know can have a great time, learn how to cook some pork chops, and just hang out. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jordan, where are they watching from? Just hit me with some oh, of the places. Man. Michigan, California. Yeah. Uh, let's see where else we got it from. Northern Cal. Okay. Uh, we got some, uh, it's a big state. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio, what's up? I love it. Thank all you guys for watching. And guys, if you guys want any of these recipes, you know, you've seen lunch break, you think some of this stuff is delicious, you want to try it, I highly encourage you to go to rectechgirls.com forward slash lunch break and sign up, put your information in there, and you'll get emailed all these recipes. John, I stand corrected. We have gone international. We got what? viewers right now from Canada and the United Arab Emirates. Beep, 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 beep. We're going global, everybody. Thank everybody for tuning in. I would ask all y'all to smash that share button so all of your friends can have a good time with us during lunch break, learn how to cook some delicious food. All right, I've got a red onion here. I'm gonna go ahead and julienne this onion up. You could use whatever onion you want, white onion, yellow onion. Uh, I'm partial to the red. The key to this part is just making sure that the onion is nice and thin, right? You don't want big chunky pieces of onion. So nice and thin. It helps to have a super, super, super sharp knife. Uh, this knife that I'm using is a Chef Greg special. 
That's right, Chef Greg, and Chef Greg made that knife. Back when he had a lot more time, I think he was into the knife making game, you know what I'm saying? It'd be hard pressed to get him to make a knife right now. He's but in a cave somewhere, just <laughs> pounding banging away on steel. That's, yeah, Chef on an Greg. Anvil. That is totally, totally true. Guys, I also want to remind you, now that I'm thinking about it, talking about Chef Greg just automatically makes me think of Academy. If you guys want to find out about Academy, because they are coming up, you need to go to rectechgirls.com. Find that tab, that Academy tab, and you will find out all, all, all things about Academy. So don't sleep on that. It's going to be a great, great time. All right, so that was half of a red onion. Julianne it really thin, threw it in there. I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of these cherry tomatoes. Now, as, as you slice those guys up, John, they want to know, what grill are you cooking on today? Today, I'm cooking on the RT590. I love this grill. It's 590 uh, square inches of cooking space. It's got a 30-pound hopper, retails for $8.99, four-year warranty, ships anywhere inside the United States, stainless steel build, PID Wi-Fi controller, that octagon design. I mean, it's it's a it's a beast. One, it is a one beast. One of our viewers wants to know. He it's just him and his wife. He's torn between the 590 and the 700. What say you? Uh, how many people is it, Jordan? It's just him and his wife. Just says. him and his wife. You know, I would say I'm of the mindset of this. This is what's going to end up happening. You will get the 590, which is plenty of grill for you and your wife. Plenty of just grill. Just look at it. Yeah, plenty of grill, but. What's gonna end up happening is once you start cooking this delicious food, pork butts, briskets, ribs, whatever it is that you wanna make, people are gonna start coming over to your house. You're gonna get more and more guests and you're gonna start running out of room on that 590. So I would say to you, if, if you had the income to get the 700, if it wasn't gonna break the bank, I would go ahead and just lock it down, Jordan. You know, get that 700. Make it your next grill. You're never gonna wish you had less grill. That, that's true, that's how I look at it. You know, you're never gonna wish you had less grill. All right, so I've got some hard salami here. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this hard salami up. Just nice and thin. Now, is that something special, or can you get that from just about any grocery any, store? You can get it anywhere. Uh, all this stuff I got at Publix. Shout out to my local grocery store, Publix and Evans. Uh, they have the friendliest staff up there, Jordan. Those guys are smiling, smiling, smiling. I really appreciate them, too. I know. I know it can't be easy right now for them. They're working hard. Just like all the rest of those. You know, there are some of the unappreciated uh, heroes in this whole saga, Jordan. The people that are out there in the grocery stores, hustling and bustling, trying to restock, trying to get everything together. I salute you guys because it's not rough and I know you've had to deal with some irate people, some ununderstanding people, so I salute you. Keeping the country afloat. That's right, you really are. You really, really are. Okay, so I've got some uh, feta cheese. We're just gonna crumble this over the top. It's really starting to come, it's really starting to come together nice, Jordan. Real nice. Looking beautiful. Yep. Now, Jordan, are you a fan of the pasta salad? Uh, as with many other things, no. Jordan. But, John, I know Jordan. that you'll, you're going to make it incredible. The Jordan. viewers are going to love it. Jordan, what are we going to do about this? you got to eat better stuff, buddy. Well, I just figure I'd double up on the barbecue pork chops. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got, this was probably about eight ounces of feta. Just going to crumble that up in there. Looks great. Now I'm going to take some of this Colton's Freaking Greek, and we're going to go ahead and start to season this stuff up, because I haven't seasoned it at all yet. We're going to put about three tablespoons of Colton's Freaking Greek in. Man, those pork chops smell amazing. Guys, I also want to remind y'all that I'm going to be going live tonight on my Facebook page, Rec Tech Chef John, uh, for Late Night Munchies. It's a new little thing we're trying to do. Uh, I wanted to bring y'all some extra content during the coronavirus stuff, and it just took off. Seems like y'all wanted it, so I'm going to be going live on my page, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. I highly encourage you guys to tune in. It's going to be a good show. They tonight. were asking about it. Oh, were they asking they about were it? They were wondering if you're going live tonight. I am going live tonight. So yeah, y'all definitely tune in. I'd love to hear and see all y'all's faces. All right, Jordan, I've got just a little bit of fresh basil. 
We're going to chiffon on that. Just cut it out up in little small pieces. We're going to put that to the side. Now I've got just some pre-made pesto. I'm going to go ahead and give this a dump. That was about three ounces of pesto. Perfect. Monica Kendig wants to know, what state are we cooking from? What state are we in right now? Beautiful state of Georgia. Georgia. No peace I find. Just an old sweet song. Keeps Georgia on my mind. Now, we're in Georgia. Augusta, Georgia. Or actually, we're in Martinez, or we're Evans, Georgia. It's That's confusing. Right. They're all so close, Martinez, Evans. But yeah, we are in beautiful Evans, Georgia. All right, so now we're going to make the sauce for our pasta. No one likes dry pasta. Uh, dry, you know, I don't like dry pasta. It's not what I'm really pasta salad. It's not what I'm going for. So I've got apple cider vinegar. This is the best stuff. Now, you want to try to get it <clears throat> with this, uh, with the mothers. That is really what's giving you all the extra nutrients and stuff in that, and Bragg's makes the best stuff. What's a mother? So when they're making apple cider vinegar, it's all the unfiltered raw apple bits and products um, that they normally take out. They leave it in some of this stuff and really gives you an extra boost. Like vinegar pulp. That's it. So we're gonna go with about a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with I would say about two tablespoons of citrus champagne vinegar. That's right, there's all different types of vinegars, guys. This is a nice tangy dish. Yeah, and it's gonna be light, it's gonna have nice citrus tones. All right, I'm gonna hit it with probably about a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. Now, on your pasta salads, this is when it is key to use the right kind of oil. Um, I would highly suggest using a nice, nice, nice uh, finishing oil for pasta salads. So um, it has a better taste, real fresh taste, um, rather than like uh, regular olive oil. Um, this is a perfect example, a perfect time to use that cold press or um, first pressed olive oil. A little chef tip for me to you. All right, and then I'm gonna hit it with some of these Kalamata olives. Kevin Wilkins said you poured that olive oil like he pours his bourbon. Yeah, boy. That's about four ounces of Kalamata olives. Looks great. I'm gonna put my glove on and then we're just gonna give this thing a mix. What you using there, Jayhan? What's that? What you got on your hands right there? That nitrile glove from Rectech Grills. You can find them at Rectech Grills on our website. They're handy, they're dandy, and we have plenty of them. So if you're looking for gloves, you can't find them at the grocery store, can't find them at your local uh, pharmacy, you can go online and order them straight from us. All right, so we're just gonna give this a mix. Now listen, another secret to this is, it's always better the second day, second or third day. When those noodles have had a chance to absorb all of that vinegar, the olive oil, the, um, the cucumbers break down because of the salt and stuff. It's always, always better. But it looks really, really good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in here. Ryan Shove says that looks ridiculously good. Oh yeah. A lot of people out there, fans of the uh, pasta salad. Yeah, awesome. Hey, it, it is delicious. And you know what? Pasta salad is like a staple in the South. You gots to, gots to have it. People argue over bringing the pasta salad. <laughs> That's true. And people <laughs> argue over who's got the best pasta right. salad, too. No, Aunt B's got the best pasta salad. No, she doesn't have the best pasta salad. Chef John's got the best. You put pasta raisins salad. in your pasta salad, John? Sweet black baby Jesus. Did you say do I put raisins? No, I don't put raisins in my pasta salad. Guys, put comment below. Do y'all put raisins in your pasta salad? I would really like to know if this is a real thing or not. Jordan's been busting me for the last couple of days about asking me if I put raisins in everything. I want to know. Raisins or no raisins in your pasta salad? Let me know. Let me know. All right, we're going to finish this with that fresh basil right over the top 
Yeah, that's pretty right there. That's going to be delicious. Woo, pull that to the side. Very colorful. Jordan, I worked up a sweat, bro. I'm going to go ahead and check these pork chops because they were super thin. We probably had them on for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and check them. Woo, they are looking good. Looking real good. Give them one flip. They're pretty much done. I'm just trying to really get them caramelized as much as I can, get that sugar to brown up coming out of that barbecue sauce. Now, if one of our viewers was local and wanted to come pick up one of those bad boys, is the store open? <laughs> the, yes, the showroom is open right now. If you guys want to come up to Red Tech Grills, the showroom's open. We are still um, adhering to all the guidelines, still standing six feet away, still wiping everything down every couple hours. Um, but yeah, we're open for business, trying to get it done, trying to service you guys as much as possible. And speaking of service, if you guys are having problems with service and you really just need to talk to somebody, a real actual live person, uh, you can go to 706-922-0890. Give us a call. You'll talk to a real live person who actually has a grill, uh, who can help you work through any of the problems you have or solve it for sure, for sure. Tandy Moore wants to know, will uh, either of these recipes be available online? Yes, Tandy. If you go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break, you can get this recipe plus all the other recipes that we've been doing for lunch break. That's a great question. Thank you very much. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've worked up a little bit of thirst. It's probably about 85 degrees right now on the Rec Tech deck. Rec Tech deck. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful deck. So I'm going to do a variation on one of my favorite drinks. Now, if y'all watch any of my shows, y'all know that I love Dirty Girl cocktail mixers. They are one of the premier cocktail mixers out there. And if you have not tried them, you need to give them a try. You can find them wherever cocktail mixers are sold or at wherever liquor is sold. And if you can't ask for them so that the people know that you need to go buy some of that stuff or ask their, their Dirty Girl representative that they need to restock. Uh, and if you can't find it there, you can go to dgmixers.com and get it straight from a horse's mouth. All right. So my favorite drink that uh, the Dirty Girls do is a, called a vodka rita, right? And basically, it's their delicious, delicious margarita mix and whatever vodka you want. You know, I like Tito's a lot. Uh, but today, I'm going to do a twist on that, and I'm going to do a watermelon. That's right. You heard it. A watermelon vodka rita. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Did you get that watermelon from the Keebler Elves? The, did I get the watermelon from where? The Keebler Elves. No, I didn't get no watermelon from no Keebler Elves, Jordan. It's a tiny watermelon. <laughs> All right, so first we're just going to strain this out. It's a seedless watermelon. That's why it's so small, Jordan. And, uh, do they come smaller without the seeds? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Seeds take up most of the room, bro. I did not know that. You did not know that. Yeah, the seeds need room to grow, too, just like everything else. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut this watermelon up. This is a seedless watermelon. This would work just as well with a watermelon with seeds. I really enjoy watermelon come this time of year, Jordan. It's starting to get hot outside. Watermelons are starting to grow. Like this is their time of year, especially in Georgia. We're about to come into watermelon Summertime season. Summertime memories, man. My grandmother used to have a watermelon uh, garden and we'd go out there and pick a fresh one. Nothing better. Yeah, you're, hey, you're preaching to the choir, my friend. You are preaching to the choir. Ice cold watermelon on a hot Georgia summer day. Nothing could be finer. A Georgia ham. All right, so you saw, just peeling it, getting all the unedible stuff off of there. Right? So now we're just going to slice it. We're just going to take a little bit, a few chunks, and we're going to put it in our shaker. Excellent. Now we're going to muddle this down. We're just going to take our muddler and we're just mashing that watermelon up. Just mashing it up to get all that delicious watermelon flavor out of there. Speaking of fruits, John, the votes are in. Overwhelmingly, no raisins do not go in pasta salad. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all did not let me down. Hallelujah. No raisins. No, no raisins in pasta salad. All right. 
So I'm just using some Smirnoff watermelon vodka. Just gonna take the uh, vodka taste over the top. Then I'm gonna hit it with our margarita mix, which is more of a sour mix. Anything that takes sour mix, you could use Dirty Girl margarita mix in. We're gonna do a three count. And you know what? I don't want the Tito's to feel left out. So we'll hit it with a little bit of Tito's too. The great guy, that Tito. Yeah, I love that guy. All right, now we're just gonna shake it and we're halfway there. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your drink up. Shake your drink up. All right, I've got a cup of ice. We're just gonna pour this over the ice. Yes. All right, maybe take a couple cubes of watermelon. Mmm. Mmm. That looks delicious. Oh, sweet Lord, that's delicious. Man, there, first of all, there's nothing finer than watermelon juice, you know? And this is just like a delicious, little tart, little bit sweet, delicious watermelon juice. Mm. From my lips to God's ears, I'm telling y'all, make the Dirty Girl Vodka your next summer drink. It's so versatile, you can do so much with it. Did I you love dirty girl. Put ice in the shaker or no? No ice in the shaker. I just had ice in the glass. I already had ice in my shaker to make sure that it was nice and cold though. All right. Let's go ahead and pull these chops off because I know they're ready. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Looking good, Jordan. Now, like I said, these are super thin chops. So they didn't take long at all. We've probably had them on there a total of probably about 15 minutes. And we probably could have went about 12 minutes with them and pulled them off. But I was just trying to get the last little bit of color I could get on these delicious pork chops. Man. That, that's Rectech Gourmet Barbecue Sauce, right? That is Rectech Gourmet Barbecue Sauce. That's right. Beautiful. So beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take some more of that screaming pig. I'm just gonna go over the top, real light. Yes. And then I'm gonna take some more of that barbecue. Make sure it's good and shook it up. I'm just gonna go over the top of that. Are you a spicy or mild Rectech barbecue sauce kind of guy? I'm a spicy guy. I'm with you. I love the spice. What do you people like? Uh, put it in the comments below, spicy or mild. Please do, because we have a lot of people at Rectech that don't necessarily like the spice, which I understand, but you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. No offense at all, I won't take offense to it. Uh, but yeah, man, this stuff looks delicious. Guys, what do y'all think? Would y'all be happy to come and hang out and eat with me today on lunch break? Are y'all entertained? Did y'all learn a little something? I love it. I love, 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 love it. Guys, so there's, we got a lot of stuff going on that I want to talk to you about while these pork chops are cooling down for a second, which is always another chef tip. You know, always let your proteins rest for a minute before you cut into them. That gives all that, uh, all the juices and the liquid that's inside that's boiling around because it's been in that grill heated up, gives it all a chance to calm down, simmer down a little bit. You know, so when you cut it, it doesn't all bleach out. But tomorrow, fun day Friday, 12 o'clock Eastern time, Jody will be giving away an RT590. That's right, everybody. Y'all have asked me when the next giveaway is. We give away something every week on fun day Friday. We spin that wheel of Rec Tech. You know, giving away prizes every week. So you guys are going to tune in. That starts at 12 o'clock. If you want to know how to enter that uh, contest to win that 590, I'm not going to tell you, you know I'm going to tell you to go back to the last Funday Friday, watch that. Jody will tell you guys how to enter that contest and win yourself a 590 tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. Also, we have a win one for dad promotion going on with Glenn Beck. That's right. 
and that's on his Instagram page, Jordan, that's right. So go to Glenn Beck's Instagram page, find out how you can win one for dad. Yeah, don't, don't be that son that brings nothing home for Father's Day, you know, be the hero. Uh, who, who wants you know? a tie? A, that's a right, socks. be the son, that the overachieving son, the son that the other brother's like, man, he brought a grill. I got them socks, like do it. <laughs> and the only way to do that is to go to Glenn Beck, go to his Instagram page and check out how you can do that. We got a ton of other stuff going on. What else do we have going on, Jordan? The giving Kitchen with Dirty Girl. That's right. Make sure you go check out Dirty Girl's uh, uh, Inst uh, was either Instagram or Facebook. Just go check their social media out. Um, right now, um, they're teaming up with the Giving Kitchen, which is a great, great, great nonprofit organization that helps out food and beverage people, uh, waitresses, bartenders, cooks, uh, sh uh, owners, chefs, all the people that work to uh, uh, make their living off of cooking and, and serving you guys. Um, this organization helps these people out when they don't have money. So it's a great organization. Please go check them out on the Dirty Girls uh, uh, social media. Um, and we also, Jordan, gosh, the tips just keep on coming. So hits. we also are doing a 20% off all accessories right now with purchase of a grill. That's right. If you purchase a grill right now, any accessory, you are going to get 20% off that accessory. That's, that's spice and rubs. That's hats. That's grill mats. That's spatulas. That's comp carts. That's front folding shelves. That's all the stuff that we have. You get 20% off with purchase of a grill. So go to rectechgrills.com right now. Scroll through the grills. You know you're going to get one. It's grill month. You know, it's barbecue season. You know you're gonna upgrade your grill this season. So you might as well just upgrade it to the best, you know? Just quit quit playing around. Pull say the no trigger game. on that. This ain't no game. Everybody else is playing for second. We play for keeps. We play for keeps, boy. All right, now let's try this. I know it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in on this action. You come on, come on, get in. There you go, Jordan. Get you a little piece of that. Try me this pork chop here. And oh. this is, uh, mm. could you grill this on the sear kit? Yes, totally could. Now. Mmm. That's good. These thin ones, these thin ones I wouldn't grill on a sear kit because they're too thin. They're going to cook way too fast. But a nice thick pork chop, yes. You put it on a sear kit, it's going to be delicious. Jordan, I didn't get you a fork for a pasta. No worries, buddy. Mm, I'm just going to dig in real quick. All for you, my friend. America wants me to eat it. The world, not even just America, the world's watching, Jordan. Guys, smash that share button. Help me help y'all bring y'all awesome content like this. The only way my boss knows that we're doing a good job is that y'all share this. Y'all like this. Y'all help us. Y'all come go follow us on social media, not just me, Chef Greg and Jody follow us on all our platforms. That helps us be able to bring y'all awesome, awesome content. So please don't sleep on that. Here we go. Look at that. You got a little bit of that hard salami, the tomato, a little bit of basil. I see some feta cheese flakes on there. That Colton's freaking Greek. Oh. Son, that is delicious. All right, so it's very herbaceous. You have the pesto, the Colton's freaking Greek. You get a pop from the apple cider vinegar, the fresh tomato, cucumber, and that really live basil on top. Oh, killed that, killed that. Woo, man, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really do. I love spending time with y'all. I'm here for you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, comments, concerns, any, or just want me to weigh in on anything, you can find me at chefjohn at rectechgrills.com. Yeah, hit me up with an email. I'd love to hear from you. I love, love, love that y'all love tuning in. Make sure that you follow uh, Greg and Jody. Uh, it's Jody at rectechgrills.com and Chef Greg uh, at rectechgrills.com. If you have any concerns or comments for them, hit them up. Uh, follow them on all social media. Guys, go and sign up to become an insider too. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that's happening this summer. And to keep up with everything that's going to be going on, you're going to want to go to uh, directtechgrills.com. Scroll to the bottom. Put your email address in there where it asks you to become an insider. That way you will stay hip, stay prompt, stay current on all things Rec Tech. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love spending time with you guys. Like I said, if you need to talk to us, a real live person, you can call us at 706-922-0890. We will be happy to talk to you guys. Someone will be waiting eagerly by the phone for your phone call. I think that's about it, Jordan. 
I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Remember, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Craig Leonhart, what's do, up, buddy? Do, do. Vince Smith out do, there. Do, do. John used the seedless watermelon. Style, it. Don't want to swallow the seed. Get it. Then Might some grow watermelon coming in your tummy. Down. Live your life the way you like. It was a total lie. That doesn't happen. Do, do, do. Parts of the brain. Do, do, do. Serve the drink.